They play a good brand of football. They're winning games. So they were They're in possession now. I'll pick this up here. Could go with it here. Filagin does. Bazunu saves and the rebound is. And then they're allowed to come inside. It comes to Filagin. Good strike. Good save from Gavin Bazunu. The whole way to go with Surrey on the ball for Hull City. Yeah. They've got a chance to get there. Here they come though on the attack and he wants it again, Zorori. Filagin's going to have it. And a bit of a silly foul to make in the end, really. And Hull City do win the find those passes to, to break the, the press for players to get on the half. Yeah, the, the early stages, the intensity is really good from, from both teams. You know, both working so hard to make no rush to, to create anything more. In the meantime, they are looking really dangerous on the breakaway here. And they've got so much space again with Cavallio. And this could be a real one. It was a real one. I think comes across and it goes to the whole City player on the edge of the box. Lovely turn out, but never looked comfortable striking it with his. And Slater finds Seri. Cavallio tries to fit to it. And gives it away. It's to the feet of Irma. Cavallio. And this could be two. And it is two. Well, what a way to give the ball away there, right in the penalty area, and Hull City... It comes from that straight pass into midfield again. I think it's, it comes into Rothwell. It's a good press from, from Hull City, but he tries to dribble back towards his goal. A difficult situation, comes from good pressing from... And then as a result of winning it back from Rothwell, it was just the most straight and things that... Ways to get at Southampton, aren't they? If they push, like the first goal was big tonight as well. Just no major. Oh, gives it away. Wouldn't surprise you if we see a triple change at half time, in all honesty. Cavallo, you just wonder if we might see Fraser and Brooks out wide, perhaps. Had a... Again, too short. And once again, one of the centre backs picks it up. This time it's Alfie Jones. And now Cavallo go. Oh but just gets him out of that press. I think at one point, maybe for a dozy at some point, you don't think he'd... It's probably where the change would come. Then go. Yeah. Still can. Getting away here, though. Tufan also coming on in a second for Hull City. Philogene. Jones. Cavallo with a pass. <laughs> They're continuing the theme. They're pressing Southampton. This time it's Harwood Bellis put under pressure. Two fans. Cavallo. Also the two in front making it very difficult tonight. He can go and find the ball himself. But I'm not a manager. <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned it earlier this season against Liverpool when he played down yeah. the centre here. Things say as they are going to move. Always got to make that run. I think if he does, he heads it into the net. There he is. Run at Coyle, one on one. And now Morton, and one touch there towards Cavallio. Scored two really good goals. They press well, they're comfortable in possession. So, yeah, them and Leicester. West Brom as well were pretty good. But to be Cavallio is coming off for Adama Traore. Cavallio scored the. They've taken advantage twice. In truth, it probably could be more than 2-0. They've looked so dangerous in that final third. So